Hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to learn about uh, creating forms, retrieving all the values from the database, and uh, adding some more values in the database by our created forms. All right. So let's start. Now we have two blog posts here. One is adding integer value, and it is by Rahul. And this I don't know. So let, let's change it for a while, and let's say how to develop. how to develop something um, I don't know what it is and let's say it is about author king and, and description a b blah 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 whatever so now we have two um, blocks here let's say third one is about autobiography of a Yogi in action, the author is Paramansa Yogananda. In great book, it is and yeah, autobiography of Yogi. Okay, now you have added uh, some values in your database uh, like this and select the block type. So, these are the three. Yeah type of blocks we are having three now uh, we have to retrieve these in our page all right so for this let's create a new um, view all right so whatever you want to do with your uh, page firstly you have to define a view so i'm uh, going for a function based view again then we will uh, look for class based views that will be much simpler but um, the understanding of this uh, function based view is more critical and uh, more more used because when you are defining your own functions this is what uh, we actually do uh, again and again so then i will give you a flow chart when to use function based views and when to use class based views properly and uh, you can also learn two uh, scoops of django and there's a great guide about this so uh, firstly define uh, the blog list function and again argument will be same here the request all right now we have to return the same thing return render and let's say here uh, we have to make a new template so first argument of the render is always request then the second argument is a template so let the template is in list folder and the name of template is blogs.html all right and we have to create it and here is the context so i'm passing an empty dictionary here and save it so for the time being because i have def uh, defined blog.html here so in the list folder of the template i have to make a new file and the new file will be blogs.html blogs.html all right now in this blogs.html what i have to do is i have to uh, write all the blocks so i'm uh, creating a basic structure although i don't need it so here blocks and in the head it should be so here uh, body and in body i'm writing a list of all blocks this is my heading and let's put it into the head so here you go now what i have is in the head um, this is the whole structure all right now uh, make a new url for it all right so in the url dot py of the main folder i am defining a new path for which is comma separated list so the path will be blocks and then contact instead of contact and home we are writing blog list because we have defined this in our view uh, all right now as you can see here it is blog list so you can copy this name and again we have to import it otherwise it is given that name blog list is not defined in url dot py line number nine all right so you can debug like this so because we have to import it from our view now the error will go automatically as you can see here now if we go to blogs we have declared the view we have declared the url now the whenever you we will type blogs it will look for blog list it will say that it is in list.view so it will go to list and then in the view and in the list.view it will render list 
and block.html so all right this is simple cycle and we have talked about it earlier so blocks here you go so here the list of all blocks would come now we have to define our list here so for that we have to pass the variable value in this context so let's define our context first so context should be equal to a dictionary and the dictionary will be uh, let's say block and the value of blocks would be uh, blocks here so we have to make this blocks so for this blocks are defined in the model and the model name is uh, here you can see that the model name is blog post so I have to import this in our view so I'm saying from where dot models where uh, from dot models import the blog post and again here blog post dot objects dot all all right so what it is doing is uh, it is importing the model in this model from the models dot py of the same hierarchy that's why i'm writing just mod dot models you can also write like this list dot model but it is not required so dot models import blog post and then all the objects because blog post is a class and in python everything is object so we have made uh, three objects of the blog post uh, here so these are the three objects so we are retrieving dot object dot all every object of the blog post and we are passing this in the variable blocks and the variable blocks is then again passed in the context uh, with the key blocks and we have to pass the context here now that we have defined here you go. and this context we have passed it here now we can retrieve this value here the value of the key is blocks you can you can uh, say that it is q no matter what you write here so a list of all the blocks and then we will say q so note that this is very important that this is query set the q is query set as you will see here here you go so this is query set and it creates all the block this is our first block this is our second block and this is our third block and we have to always fetch uh, the individual members of the query set so we can run a loop over it all right so uh, how we can do it so to run a loop in the template you have to write double curly braces then double parent and double percentage for uh, blog or whatever flog for a for i what we used to do in python for blog in because our variable name is q so for blog in q and now end it for blog in q and for this is the syntax of django and in the mid we have to write because we have used the variable block for iteration so block all right so if we save it now and now you can see here okay give me uh, remove this thing now or just for a while I'm, i want to show something to you so you breaks and breaks every time the loop runs here you go so this was the query set and as we iterated with our variable block so block first have taken this value so here with the block then the break then block took this value and then blocks took this value and so these are the three values so uh, now we can remove this query set all right and if we can uh, use list here and in this list we can pass whole of your data all right and we can put them these in list so now the br will not be needed and i'm not about styling something so this will be a much better look all right so these are the three blocks that we have added now if we add one more block let's say the title of is steve jobs and the author is walter Jackson and the summary of book Steve Jobs all right and the type is let's entertainment and now if you add it now if you refresh because now the blog post contain three uh, post here and as we have added to we have to refresh it later on we will see that the server will automatically give the data as we uh, add something and that will be by using the web sockets we will cover it in our further videos all right so we have we are having these four uh, blocks here now i want to give the edit button delete button and create button here 
all right so we will talk about it but uh, before moving on i want to tell you about this thing in much better way the blogs thing the blogs.objects.all so okay so firstly what i'm doing here is uh, okay so a equal to let's say the blogs dot first so it what it will do is from the query set blocks because uh, let me print out this then i will tell you so print blocks whenever you do print uh, in the view it prints out here okay so this can be used for debugging and it is used very often all right so print then a so in this thing as we refresh it now in the terminal you can see here that here is the query set uh, because of this print block and print a is giving the how to develop this so what you have done is age the first member of the blog age blocks dot first and the in the query set the first is how to develop so it returns the how to develop this this is uh, blocks dot first so make sure that you can't use uh, the fields here in query set because blocks is a query set so if you want to use the field like title author description block type let's say we want to retrieve the um, instead of only title the author name so we can just uh, do do it like this blogs and in the list element we can say do it close it first now in the list element uh, let's say blog dot author even you can say blog dot whatever you want to retrieve uh, from the defined field you can retrieve from there so because in the models we have filled title title author description block type uh, timestamp so any of this thing you can retrieve so blog dot time stamp okay so everything will come here as you can see here this is the author name and this is the timestamp because you know every uh, particular object having attribute associated with it and the attribute is the age we defined this four five we defined but if you want to access in like this like in this queue that we have passed so queue will not contain any attribute because queue is a list of objects and the objects contain attribute not the query set okay so if you want to access any attribute then you have to go for particular member all right so that's why we can uh, we can do here a dot timestamp okay and then it will return the timestamp of the first uh, blog which is 2 september and 11 10 as you can see here it has written the 2 9 and that's it but if i have done instead of a the query set blocks here blocks to timestamp because query set don't contain a timestamp the objects contain so it will give an error that the query set object has no attribute timestamp it is common error i have seen when we start learning django Alright, so instead of accessing the attribute of query set, we have to access the attribute of particular blog post or particular object like this. So this is the query set and it contains the three or four whatever the declared blog post and blog post are the object that contain the attributes. Alright, so a dot first and you also can do a dot last. So these are some values. So it will return the last value of the attribute. So instead of blocks, I can do a. So it will return the last of the query set which is uh, Steve Jobs as you can see here it is returning the date of Steve Jobs and if I remove this you can say it, a author the field author instead of timestamp all right so it returns the name of the author all right so these are something which we can do 